this video, I'm going to show you how to find the volume of a cone. The given information in this problem is that the radius is 3 centimeters and the slant height is 8 centimeters, which means we're going to have to do a little bit of work before we can actually find the volume of the cone. The formula for volume of a cone is one-third the area of the base times the height. Uh, for information on why this is the formula, take a look at the previous video that was posted. Uh, or actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, you want to just search for uh, volume of a cone, and there's a video of somebody else's that uh, he's pouring water from a cone into a cylinder. But basically, the end result is that the cone is one-third the volume of a cylinder with the same base and the same height. So there's video out there already on that, so I didn't post it. All right, so the volume of a cone, one-third area of the base times height. We know the radius, and we know the slant height. I'm going to draw the height. And the height is always perpendicular to the base. Uh, whether or not your cone is tilted, uh, this is a right cone, so the cone, the radius, and the uh, height do intersect right at the center of the circle, but they form a right angle. With that, we know that we can use the Pythagorean theorem. slant height is actually the, the hypotenuse, so I need to actually do 3 squared plus h squared equals 8 squared. Alright, so using the Pythagorean theorem, Set up an equation and solve for h. h is the square root of 55. Now, I can find the volume of the cone. One third area of the base times height. My, my base is a circle, so the area of the base is found by doing pi r squared. So our area of the base is 9 pi. The volume is one-third, the area of the base, times the height. We have all the information we need. centimeters cubed. And if you want the approximate, just go to your calculator. And that's how you find the volume of a cone. Again, this was one where we had to find the height first. Something that I like to think about uh, in terms of whether or not I'm using slant height or height, because I know that gets confusing from time to time. Uh, slant height is important on the surface area of a cone, and the slant height actually rests on the surface of the cone. Whereas volume, we're trying to think about, well, how much can that cone hold? If we're thinking an ice cream cone, how much ice cream can I pack into that cone? And the height is on the inside of the cone. So the height is really, it's inside there. It's where the volume is, what the volume is measuring. So the height is what impacts our volume. So we would use the actual height for our volume formula. Whereas slant height, it's on the surface. So it's part of the surface area of a cone formula. All right, volume of a cone, one-third, area of the base times height. And that's what you do.